I am Professor Elbe Gaikwad who is teaching today the topic on phonetics. What is phonetics? Remember, phonetics is a science of sound classification. A science of sound classification. Remember here, I will discuss that in this phonetics, we can classify, means we can divide, we can make the types of the sounds. Sounds means phonemes. The phonemes means we know there are the alphabets, there are the uh, diphthongs, there are the monophthongs, there are the vowels, there are the consonants in phonetics. And these phonetics are classified or these phonetics are uh, uh, grouped uh, various uh, grouped in a various uh, way and that's why this is called the science of uh, sounds. So remember here for example uh, I will tell you S and Z. Remember when we pronounce this S and Z there is the difference of their pronunciations. Remember when we go to pronounce them, when we go to classify them, to divide them, when we go to talk about their types, then we will see that this S is, this S is here a voiceless. This S is here voiceless. Because when we pronounce this S, the vocal cords are wide apart means there is no more tension to the vocal cords and that's why this is called the voiceless sound so so is the voiceless sound the second thing i will explain is that z is voiced sound remember z is the voiced sound voiced means what when we pronounce this uh, Z, then the vocal cords are vibrated, means they get vibrated or they vibrate. It means that there is the compression of theirs, means they go through the tension when we pronounce this Z, and that's why here this Z is the voiced sound. So remember here, uh, we can say that the phonetics is the science of sound classification. So remember here the main point is that this phonetics is related with sound and voice. Remember it is related with sound and voice. Sound and voice. It means here, here these are uh, these, these, these voices, these, I will tell you, these uh, sounds are classified as sounds and as voice because it is related with the voice. And whose voice? It is related with the voice of human and it is related with the voice of animals. So, remember here, this is the point and that's why this phonetics is related with sound or voice or voice. Remember, uh, phonetics, a branch of linguist, a branch of linguist to produce and classify human sounds. Remember, this is the branch. This is the branch. And this branch is related with linguist. Linguist linguist means there are the linguist persons and they study these sounds and that's why this is the branch of linguistic linguistics 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 means this is the science of linguistics this is the um, 
work of linguist means the uh, people of uh, language study them and that's why phonetics is a branch of linguistics and this phonetics works to produce and classify human sounds remember this phonetics this phonetics works on works on producing works on producing and classifying and classifying producing and classifying on human sounds remember human sounds uh, my point is that man's sounds means man's speech means when man speaks this uh, speech is made with phonemes with sounds with consonants with vowels with diphthongs with monophthongs and that's why here this phonetics works on producing and classifying on human sounds this is the point here and we are discussing remember the topic of the uh, phonetics so remember here now the next point is the organs of speech remember organs of speech organs of speech so remember here what is about this organs of speech the organs of speech means it is the face means it is our face and uh, there is our mouth and in this mouth there are there are teeth there is a tongue there is hard palate there is the soft palate all these parts in our mouth are called the organs of speech means these parts help to produce and to to speak the particular to articulate the particular uh, voices the particular sounds the particular uh, phonemes or uh, phones i will say and that's why uh, these uh, parts are called the organs of speech so remember here now we are discussing about the organs of speech so these organs of speech do the important role in producing the sounds remember organs of speech uh, are very important very important very important to produce to produce means to articulate these sounds remember when we want to produce these sounds then organs of speech are very important to produce these sounds that is the important point the next point i will discuss is that lips and tongue remember lips and tongue lips and tongue in the mouth in the mouth in the mouth are very very are very very significant parts signi significant significant parts or organs or organs in pronouncing in pronouncing these sounds remember what is the important point the important point is that when we discuss about these organs of speech then it is very clear that these organs of speech are very important to produce these sounds but in these organs of speech lips and tongue are the two parts which are very important to produce to articulate or to pronounce these uh, sounds that is the important point remember the uh, main thing here i want to tell you that non verbal non verbal communication non verbal communi 
communication. Remember, what is this point? Non-verbal communication means the communication which is not related with speech. It is not spoken. It is shown with gestures. It is shown with uh, the, the, the uh, body language and that's why it is called the non-verbal communication and that's why here I will tell you this non-verbal communication is also related with phonetics or the phonetics also studies the non-verbal communication. That is the important point. Now, I will tell you that this uh, phonetics has this phonetics has three methods, three branches. Remember, the phonetics, the phonetics, the phonetics has three branches. Remember, how many branches are there to this uh, phonetics? This phonetics has three branches. So remember, what is the first branch? I will tell you. The first branch is, remember, production or articulation. Remember, the first branch is production. Production or articulation. Remember, production or articulation. This is the first branch of the phonetics. So, remember here, in this uh, branch or in this production, in this articulation, the sounds are articulated with the organs of speech. Here, uh, the persons articulate, the persons produce, produce means articulate, articulate means pronounce, pronounce means speak. People speak here the sounds with the help of their organs of speech. That is the first branch that is called production or articulation. The second is the uh, branch which is here the transmission. Remember, transmission, transmission, transmission that is called acoustic, acoustic, acoustic. This is the second branch. Now remember what is transmission or acoustic I will say. Here the acoustic uh, properties of sounds are studied. Remember here acoustic, acoustic properties, properties of sounds of sounds are studied means this branch uh, studies the acoustic acoustic properties of sounds it means that the properties it means that the features characteristics of the sounds which are related with transmission are studied by this second method by this second uh, branch here we will discuss and the uh, third is the third branch of the phonetics is uh, perception or auditive remember auditive perception or auditive remember the third is perception or auditive so what is perception and what is auditive we will see now remember perception perception uh, means we percept we understand we digest we learn we study that is called perception auditive where we listen and through that listening we learn those sounds that is called the perception or auditive method. So here in this method, formation of language, formation of language, formation of language, formation of language, 
remember formation of language means we can form language we can prepare language we can make language that is called the formation of language and its sounds and its uh, sounds means its uh, sounds means the sounds of language means the sounds of language and uh, the language and the sounds of language are formed in this method in this branch and again their meanings their meanings their meanings means what uh, we know what are their meanings means those meanings are studied here in this uh, branch means perception auditive branch uh, studies the formation of language and the formation of sounds and their meanings so remember here the language is made with formation the language is made with sounds and the language is made with their meanings and this study is made by the third third branch and the third branch is perception or auditive branch so remember here i will discuss about the sounds which are the sounds consonants consonants okay vowels diphthongs 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 monophthongs monophthongs these are the sounds so remember uh, we can say these sounds now we will say the history of phonetics remember the last point is history of phonetics history of phonetics means what is the history or how this phonetics came uh, to us or became modern that is the explanation so remember early sanskrit grammarians remember early sanskrit grammarians modernized sounds in 6 bc practically in in 6 bc practically that is the point practically means they brought these are sounds in pra into practice in this 6th bc means in this 6th century i will say so remember here a uh, history of the phonetics is like this and uh, in this period they made the catalogs means making catalogs making catalogs catalogs i will say cat logs in catalogs logs uh, remember here the point is uh, they made the uh, catalogs catalogs uh, remember the spelling is catalogs so what is the point the point is that the history about this phonetics is that in in the 6th century means in 6 bc the uh, early sanskrit uh, people or grammarians practically means they practiced uh, this phonetics uh, and they made the catalogs of this phonetics that is the important point then second is international phonetic alphabet ip remember i p a what is ip a international international phonetic alphabet that is ip a was implemented was implemented was implemented means was worked out means was brought into practice was introduced by a j ellis by a j ellis by a j ellis henry sweet daniel jones and 
Paul Passy in the late 19th century. In the late 19th century, remember 19th century, late means you know uh, they became rather late to introduce them. That is the later 19th century. So remember IPA was worked out by A.J. Ellis. Then the second is, uh, I will tell you, Henry Sweet, Daniel Jones and Paul uh, Parsi. These people, these grammarians brought this uh, uh, IPA, International Phonetic Alphabet, brought into practice in the late 19th century and uh, they uh, represented, they discussed the phones, phonemes, inter, intonation, syllables and words to beautify language. So remember here they brought this IP system uh, into uh, everyday life and they practice the intonation of language, the phonemes of language, the phones of language, the syllables of language, the words of language. It means that they discuss the meanings of words, they discuss what is syllable uh, there in the word or what is the international method of language and which are the phones and phonemes they discussed very nicely. So this is the history of this uh, phonetics. Remember this IPA is not uh, followed by uh, followed by global people means uh, this IPA this IPA is not followed by total people remember yes all the people in the world did not follow or do not follow this international phonetic uh, remember this in uh, international a phonetic alphabet system is not followed by total people in the world. Only actors, only actors, scholars, linguistics, sorry, linguists only follow this method. That is the important point. And here I want to tell you that. BRP, BRP, British Received Pronunciation is also related with this and so remember here the main point, last main point I will tell you that Daniel Jones among these people there is the name of Daniel Jones and this Daniel Jones is the father of phonetics and Panini P A N I N I Panini Panini progressed this phonetics in uh, remember in around 350 BC. So remember what is the point? Daniel Jones is the father of phonetics and Panini or Panini. This gentleman progressed this phonetics in around 350 BCE that is the history of phonetics. So today we saw the definition of phonetics what is actually phonetics. The phonetics is the branch of linguistic linguistics that is language. It is the part of language and we can we can learn we can talk we can speak uh, all the sounds, syllables, phonemes, phones with the help of this phonetics. So with this, I will stop here. How you feel this uh, uh, video, please tell me in the comment box. Thank you. Thank you very much.